Hey, yo, what's up? This is your boy AJ. Welcome to yet another episode of Africa Untamed. And from wherever you are, welcome to the show. I'd like my course to introduce himself to you guys. I'm Osiro Yakababa. Welcome to Branching Trends. Karibuni sana, karibuni sana, karibuni sana. You know, sometimes I usually find myself struggling with Swahili. I'm not that fluent with Swahili. I don't know whether you've ever noticed. Swahili? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. They say Swahili ni lugha ya wachake. Na si lugha ya wajaka. Ya si lugha ya wajaka. Everyone globally are talking about Kenyans. Kenyan youth managed to occupy parliament and have, have, have held a number of demonstrations which for, mo uh, for most of the part were peaceful until recently we saw a different trend. But basically the entire world is talking about the Kenyans, Kenya youth, Kenyan youth who managed to occupy parliament yeah. when the legislators are uh, uh, adamantly or, or uh, uh, just thumbingly approve the finance budget of this year. I think uh, Kenyan, Kenyans will be known globally for marathon. Yeah. And uh, now it is a phenomenal thing. Is any everybody, every youth in every corner of Africa is talking about Kenyans. They want, they, to, be uh, like they want to be like Kenyans. <laughs> because mother to me we were slaves to me were slaves for long mm. by our leaders. You go, you vote for an MP, then all of a sudden, ile pride maze inamweka na anza ku show off na nini. Ile situation tumekua, and yet you are jobless, na uko unemployed, na auna anything. So, Kenyans decided enough is enough. Maze, to hell with this government. If the government cannot listen to the youth, why should we make them listen to us right now? Na wakachukua yu opportunity. And we saw the results whereby the president came down with a guy near Lishuka. Akakujakasema, now your demands will be met. Nasai, to Meskia, my youth, and yeah, Metokia. So we, we are going to have a sit down with you, and all your issues are going to be considered. I think that was the best thing that has ever happened to our youth, Maze. Big up. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe I should I should add something onto what you just said. Mm -hmm. You know, Kenyans. I I, I don't think we we've, we've been known for athletic only. I think there are other weird things that <laughs> globally <laughs> Kenyans have always been known yeah. for. I I remember this. There is that other incident where just this is just but uh, let me just just pinpoint it. There is this guy who wanted to like sue Israel for for the death of Jesus. Really? <laughs> and the world talk about that crazy lawyer. Mm. So Kenya is just known for crazy stuff. And even as we look at the 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 the, the pros or the 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 gift that the demonstration gifted the Kenyan citizens, we also would like to highlight to highlight some of the 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 unique moments, some of the the moments that were really captivating within the period that Kenyan citizens or Kenyan Gen Z was striking. I don't know whether you guys saw the, uh, there are a number of, of, of instances that really was, you know, out of space. Yeah, and uh, whenever the youths occupied the CBD, the youths occupied the parliament, I think the youths occupied the churches, the youths occupied everywhere. So. The thing that has been disturbing us, ni ile fear that has been instilled in us from the right from the first government, from independence, ile yenye ukiongea kunamalizwa. So right now, the people are in the streets, the agencies are in the streets, the police are also there, but the, big, the good thing is that cameras go everywhere. So whenever a policeman tries to anajaribu kufanya kitu yenye aiko according to the constitution ama to violate a right yamtu, there is the cameraman right there. 
So mother ningumu sana policeman anajaribu kufanya anything that will violate your right kama una demonstrate na the government mother itabidi tu roundi wame wametusikiza my youth I, I think the better part of it we, we were on the ground for the better part of the yeah. the, the demonstration we yeah. covered every every move every action mm. and and uh, it was just a moment of, of, of I don't know from, from my own point of view personally I viewed it as a I've never covered such like story, so it was chaotic. You, you, I think it was, uh, it was chaotic. <laughs> there was that point where whereby I thought I was shot at. Maze ile sweat nilikuwa na sweat. Then I touch kuna vinye sweat nilikuwa na sweat. Then I touch my clothes. I felt some water. So I thought. <laughs> I thought <laughs> yeah, I thought it was blood. Maze yani ile police was the policemen were shooting right. Karibu na penye tuko. So unaweza imagine at Yagas in at there was this monument in Yagas it throw it was thrown right at me nika dodge the Yagas hiyo kitu ilikuwa inakuja then the moment ilianguka hivyo ikalipuka next to penye nilikuwa na camera so maze is only god na we um, I think we did a good job personally me na za congratulate because kufika pale ku cover hiyo kitu na kutembea one on one una move na policemen kwa different section I think that was the biggest risk ever. There was even this incident uh, in uh, I saw in uh, Nairobi whereby a journalist was the policeman pointed a gun directly at a journalist. The, 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 I think it, it was a woman. She tried to cover this the, to take a picture of this policeman trying to shoot directly at the protesters. Then the police aimed directly at this this woman, this photographer. Maze alikuwa nasema she felt like the life had jumped out of her so ilikuwa mother ilikuwa nini life threatening moment for us na the good thing is we try we showed the world what was happening na the government has come out kwa ile whatever it was thinking that mother ime 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 kalia wananchi so i think is a is a good job we did so uh, the other thing that has also happened uh, during the demonstration the people for the it's quite unfortunate we've lost a uh, number of youths yeah. and uh, 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 we pass our condolences to the families that have lost their members to those of you who've lost like friends who are like you know friends who like you guys were interacting with like yeah. immediately right so we we can't say that we understand the impact of of that tragic tragic loss but at the same time We'd like to point out something that really stood out because uh, I, I don't know that it's only me who realized that, but the number, a good number of people who, who, who lost their life during that period, they were either innocent by stand, by, 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 by passers, yeah. or they were not within the demonstrating group. Yeah. So I, I think majority were, were, were caught off guard during the entire melee. Mm-hmm. And, and and we also saw even the the people who were like mentally challenged falling yeah. victim to yeah. such like occasions yeah. so I, I think it should be a learning a learning it should be a lesson i mean let me not saying a learning experience it should be a lesson to to people who are like are not part of the demonstrating or demonstrators they should whenever there is a demonstration i think the best thing is to just stay away from from yeah. the the chaos and everything just watch from far i think also the what we should be asking ourselves is the policemen are the people that are supposed to protect the citizens so you should not be i think the policemen should start by taking responsibility whenever you are trying to shoot a live bullet maze do not aim at the protesters you ujui mwenye hiki kitu itapata just aim kama ni live bullet hata live bullet ijaruhusiwa police to shoot at the protesters kuna zile ma matiagas hizo ma water cannon hizo hizo ziko at least don't shoot live bullet at the people ma they these are the people who pay taxes to pay your salaries now you are also they are also fighting for your rights so just try to consider them i think for the last pro demonstration the police the nakuru policemen did a good job they were i think they were psyched up now walikuwa na disperse to us say but akukuwa na ile ile ku violate any ile rights ya wase na kama hawako wanashika wase so the only thing wakipopata mkinini they disperse you so that was a plus on their side so i think we should try they should try to behave that way always
Yeah. yeah. And, and, and for those of you who are like uh, part of the, of the protesters from the day one, uh, if you never saw something like, uh, if you never saw, you know, if your eye never led you to someone prettier than the ones you've ever encountered, I don't know whether you're blind or what, because my guy, Kenyans, we have pretty girls, like Mazema Demwa Mehiva. But I said, yeah, you know, in your hood, now probably you usually see the pen team when you, you know, your average type of girl. And then we end up a demonstration, and then you find this, ma they, 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 we used to call them slay mamas, but my slay wali kwa wana show up one. Una wana jaribu ku record, and then kidogo kidogo na kwa distracted na turas apo tu mepita. You're like, hey, buda, nita pigania ichi ya manta pigania. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got some? All, all in all, it was, I think it was a phenomenal. Where any people came out in large numbers, like when I lay up, I was like, I'm going to Let's just talk about it, my day, my painting. Yeah. I even saw, I've seen a couple of girls when you were on a post for TikTok, they saw their soulmate, but you were Peter. <laughs> so, while yeah. Kenyan youth yeah. were focusing on changing their country, mm. there are other idiots. Should I call them idiot or fool like me? Mm. I, I probably am part of the, the, the fools who are, instead of focusing on the, the main agenda, we were distracted. You know, it's, it's, it's human, it's, it's a human thing. Yeah, but all in all, we came out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the best. The, 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 what were you talking about? So, uh, you know, the, the, the battle is won but the war is still on yeah should i say the war is won the, but the battle is still on the battle a lot of continue a lot of continue so yeah. uh the youth uh i am proud of, of kenyan youth i'm a kenyan youth and i'm proud of myself for having been part and parcel of that movement the globally appreciated and acknowledged gen z movement and um, I, I, I like say, I'd like to say that the movement is, has not stopped. There are still a number of, of lined up activities yeah. that are still going on. Yeah. Even as we are, we are, we are having this show uh, today, Those mo the, the number of activities that have been scheduled out, they'll run smoothly as the other one have been running, right? Yeah. And um, uh, my takeaway from all this, let, uh, let's, let's just, let me just have a parting shot. My takeaway on all this, even as we wrap it up, I'll also give you a chance to have your takeaway. Yeah. Uh, one thing that stood out, the tribeless, faceless, leaderless youths who defended the, their, their rights, who defended the constitution of Kenya, uh, showcased to the world that Kenya is not the tribal country that has always been known, as that Kenya has always been known for. Kenya is a country made of, 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 of intellectual, by intellectual, I mean youths who have gone to, to school, who've earned their rightful place within the society, but at the same time are still struggling to like uh, find their space in the financial world or the... Uh, the, the in our woods, they but were jobless. Why? Because the politicians or the government is adamantly taking away the resources Maze, that are supposed to be there for you for the youth, na wanazitumia kwa kujenga manyumba kubwa kubwa and all that. So, whatever happened was good, and it was, it was a eye opener for the government. I think the government, at my MP, say, right now, your MP, I think, ajaonekana area. Why? Because they fear mazeo mnaeza wasalimia. So that was a good thing. And let, let, let us keep them on their toes. Kila siku, mazeo. Hakuna kurudi nyuma, this has started let them be responsible for everything. Come on, if they CDF Nanini, let them give that money out equitably. Akuna ati kuenda nyuma nyuma na kuiba pesa za wanaingi. That is the... I think I'm proud wherever I am. So, yeah, that's your parting show. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, as we call it a day, uh, I'd like to appreciate uh, our parents who've been uh, with us through this journey. I know it's, it's the mess we are cleaning, but also we would like to like acknowledge their effort in like uh, uh, working with us along this path. Yeah. So until next time. I think let, let me add something. Whenever you are out there, you are trying to, there's this protest demonstration that has been called 
here Sai Mazeka Maweni youth to Lia Penyuko because there are these politicians that have gone out of their way kwaya maguns kutokea at wana demonstrate so kama we ni youth the ile demonstration tumefanya wasema wamefanya the government wame to ski the way to Lia Penyuko sa kwa sai take care of yourself mother we need you alive more than we need you dead na u Whenever you end up up in jail, you will be able to get out of jail. You will be able to get out of jail. You will be able to get out of jail. You will be able to get out of jail. You will be able to get out of jail. You will be able to get out of jail. You will be able to get out of jail. So take care of yourself out there.